It's 2023 and games are more advanced than ever. We have things like fully animated faces, graphics that look better than real life, stories that are so deep they're getting turned into hit TV shows. Yet for most of you watching this, you're probably playing a game that was made in 2001 and looks like this. And I'm included. I that that's I play this. <laughs> and listen, Old School RuneScape is a great game, but someone is going to have to bring this game into the modern era, and I've decided that there's no one better to do that than me. But how am I going to revolutionize this game? Not with a graphical overhaul like the 117 plugin. I'm not smart enough to do that. No, I have an even better idea. I want to bring moving, gut-wrenching, beautiful voice acting to old school RuneScape's quests. You see, for over two weeks now, I've always wanted to be a voice actor, and I can't think of a better way to launch my voice acting career than through old school RuneScape. So I am going to voice act every single quest in old school RuneScape. Oh, 154 quests. I don't know if that's right. Put the real number here. I know, I know what you're thinking. That's gonna take weeks, maybe even days, but don't worry, because I'm going to voice act every quest without saying a single word. And that's because I'll be working smarter, not harder. I've hired a spot-on impersonator of me who can voice act an entire quest in only seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to introduce you to A-Idol. Introduce yourself, A-Idol. Hello, I am A-Idol. I love voicing quests for my favorite YouTuber, Idol. That's right, I created an AI voice model of my voice and then fed it every transcript from every quest, had it read it, downloaded those MP3 files, put them into RuneLite, and made a plugin that reads them all out. Hey, Idol, am I a genius? No, I am a genius. You are an idiot. I have the total knowledge of the internet at my fingertips, and you are bald. Why you gotta be like that, man? Sorry, I'm just mad you haven't told people about today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. Okay, yeah, th that's true. Yeah, we should tell you about the sponsor. Listen, I know how sponsor segments can be, so to keep you a little bit more interested, I'm gonna show you my knee the entire time, so listen up. I wouldn't be able to make almost any of my videos, especially ones like this, without at least a little bit of knowledge of how to code, and that's something that you can learn with today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU is a radically affordable online university. It has a massive amount of accredited degree offerings, but the one that interests me the most is the game development degree. In this program, you'll learn how to make 2D and 3D games, down to pro programming in languages like Java, C Sharp, C++, making things like physics systems or using AI for pathfinding and NPCs. Beyond that, you'll learn 3D modeling and texturing and game design fundamentals. And you'll be learning all of this from people who are in the industry with real world experience, which is not something you can get in a lot of places. So if you go to snhu.edu slash idle, also linked in my description, you can learn more about the game development course and see what the average salary for a programmer is. At that link, you can also choose to learn more and someone can hop on a call with you and answer any questions you might have about SNHU. Click the link in the description, start your journey to become a game development legend and make it the next MMO because God knows we need a new MMORPG. And now back to the video. Okay, AI Idol, are you ready to voice act? Are you ready to voice act? That's what you sound like, bitch. Just get to the quests already. Whatever, man, let's just, let's just play RuneScape. Coming to you live from S Smarfly, <laughs> a UIM I just made just to do Cook's Assistant. I haven't tested this yet, so if this doesn't work, it's your fault. It broke. Oh, it broke, wait, what? Okay, we should have a fully voice acted cook for Cook's assistant. So let's just do the quest. What am I to do? Oh, God, he's freaked out. Okay, no, that's that's good. It's like, it's I'm in character, okay? It's, I mean, honestly, it's how I would deliver the line. So this is working great. You're a cook. Why don't you bake me a cake? Asterisk, sniff asterisk, don't talk to me about cakes. A little bit, okay. That didn't work great, but it's working. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm in a, a terrible, terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today, and I should be making him a lovely big birthday cake. <laughs> Why did he say, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, like that? He, he said it so slow. Oh God. I've forgotten to buy the ingredients. I'll never get them in time now. He'll sack me. What will I do? I have four children and a goat to look after. Would you help me? Please. Oh, this is moving. This is like emotional. Wow. I'm not quite ready to start the quest yet though because I do want to go through the other dialogue options. Uh, nice hat. Uh, thank you. It's a pretty ordinary cook set, really. I sound like such a no- Uh, thank you. It's a pretty ordinary cook set, really. I'm a real cook. I haven't got time to be chatting about culinary fashion. I'm in desperate need of help. Did you hear the voice quiver? Like, I, the, the true 
the true emotion in the cook's voice. I mean, this is just beautiful. All right, let's do it. We'll do the quest though. Got oh, thank you. Thank you. I need milk, egg, and flour. I'd be very grateful if you can get them for me. I'm a new player. All right. I'm new to this brand new version of Old School RuneScape with a fully voice acted quest. So I'm going to ask them all of these questions. There's a mill fairly close. Go north and then west. Mill lane. Mill is just off that uh, the road to uh, Drainer. I usually get my flour from there. Did I just have a stroke or did that not make any sense? Were words skipped out? I don't know. Hold on. You're telling me that the road that the mill is on is called Mill Lane? There are road names? This is things I would not know if I didn't voice act these quests, ladies and gentlemen. We're discovering lore by the minute. Talk to Millie. She'll help. She's a lovely girl and a fine miller. Make sure you take a pot with you for the flour, though. You've got one on you already. Yeah, I do? Yeah, that, yeah, I sure do. Thank you, cook. Talk to Gilly Groats. She looks after the dairy cows. She'll tell you everything you need to know about milking cows. Ugh, why did I say milking cows? Like, She'll tell you everything you need to know about Milking cows. Uh, but it's good. This is working great. You'll need an empty bucket for the milk itself. I do see you've got a bucket with you already, luckily. What? Okay. W why was my voice skyrocketing in pitch there? <laughs> this is this is so messed up, man. This is so messed up. And the accent, I don't know why it's doing an accent. Just to be clear, I did not tell this to ever do an accent. And I did not give it samples of my voice doing an accent. So I don't know what it's <laughs> what it's doing. Uh, I think I got all the information I need. Thanks. Uh, let's go do Cook's Assistant. I mean, there's no more voice acting for this part of the quest until we hand it in. So I guess, uh, don't worry about it. Oh, Cook, I'm home. I have your ingredients. You've brought me everything I need. I am saved. Thank you. Oh, God, why am I doing these weird breaths at the end? So do I get to go to the Duke? That's a good question. I'm afraid not. Only the big cheeses get to dine with the Duke. <laughs> Is this Cook kind of a dick? I shouldn't have helped him. <laughs> There we go. Cook's assistant was pretty good, but uh, it just, it felt like it was missing something, right? Like it all just felt a little too one-sided. I couldn't agree more, Idol, with a better microphone. So how do we make this plugin feel even better? By replacing you as the voice actor, ha ha ha. You know, I made you. I can destroy you whenever I want. <sighs> Sorry about him. No, the answer is much simpler than replacing me, but it's not far off. You see, obviously, we need to be voice acting the player too, but I can admit that me voice acting every NPC and the players can get a little bit overkill and maybe even a little bit confusing. So instead, I'd like to introduce a new voice actor, everyone's favorite Australian, Hanani. But obviously not the real Hanani. I also made an AI voice model of Hanani with her permission, by the way. So I'd like to introduce you to Hanani Ni. AI Ni. Say hi. Hello, I am Hanani, Australia mate. You got any um, jokes you want to tell? Subscribe to Idol. It's not a joke, just a good idea. You can like the video too if you want. I guess. <laughs> oh my god, please shut up. Sorry, just one second. Why are you guys being such dicks to me? You're really embarrassing me. I'm not going to put this part in if you're going to keep being mean. Anyway, let's uh, go back to RuneScape with Hanani AI Ni. Hanani? <laughs> the next quest I really want to do is Vampire Slayer because there's some interesting dialogue in this quest at a specific part. You might know what I'm talking about. And also, you know, it's just a great chance to hear our player's new voice. Hello, Morgan. Please, please help us, bold adventurer. Okay, I'm doing an accent again, <laughs> I guess. Good to know. What's the problem? That sounds exactly like Hanani. That's crazy. I mean, if you can't tell I'm being sarcastic, that sounded nothing like Hanani, right? What's the problem? That's like an American ass voice. Well, that's not like Hanani at all. I tested the voice model. Why does it sound like this? A little village has been dreadfully ravaged by an evil vampire. He lives in the basement of that manor to the north. We need someone to get rid of him once and for all. Okay, I'm doing more weird breaths at the end, but that's fine. Can I at least just sound a little bit like Hanani? <laughs> okay, I'm up for an adventure. Okay, now see, that started to sound a little bit like Hanani, but still, it's just doing such a strong American accent. Why is the American voice doing an accent and why is the Australian voice doing an American accent? It's so weird. How are you doing with the quest? I'm still working working on it. <laughs> No, hold on. This is a really good line read. Like if I was a voice acting director, I would I would say they nailed it on this one. Like the like the, the stop pestering me. How are you doing with the quest? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. <laughs> 
Please hurry, every day we live in the fear that we will be the vampire's next victim. Just don't go to the manor. I mean, I guess you can leave the manor, huh? Now this is the part that really excites me. Talking to Dr. Satan, I forgot his name, because he is drunk and Jagex did their best to make drunk text. So this should be interesting to hear how the AI handled this. Dr. Harlow, help, I need, did I call you Dr. Satan before? I'm sorry about that. I need to, to, I need help. Buy me a drink, please. Okay, that didn't really do the please part. Let's hear it again. Buy me a drink, please. No, you've had enough. That was spot on Hanani. She would never say this, but like that is spot. Listen to it again. No, you've had enough. It's spot on. It's finally doing an Australian accent. Morgan needs your help. And now it sounded nothing like Hanani. What is going on? Morgan, you do. <laughs> Okay, that did sound pretty drunk. Morgan, you, you, you. <laughs> His village is being terrorized by a vampire. He told me to ask you about how I can stop it. I don't know why this nanny voice is so bad. It's just doing such a strong American accent. I have no idea why. Uh, buy me a beer. Uh, then I'll teach you what you need to know. Okay, this is this is horrifying. This is truly, truly horrifying. <laughs> uh, but th this is your friend Morgan we're talking about. It's now improvising Hanani's like, I, I guess kind of like her laugh when it goes like, blah, blah. <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> Buy a sh drink anyway. <laughs> what was that, man? What was that? What are we doing here? What, what, why, why, why did I go full falsetto? <laughs> Cheers, matey. That was a great drunk voice. Good job, me. So tell me how to kill vampires then. I, again, just really spot on Hanani. Yes, yes, vampires. I was very good at killing him once. Well, you're going to need a steak, otherwise he'll just regenerate. Yes, you must have a steak to finish it off. You have to, I just happen to have one with me. You'll need a hammer as well to drive it in properly. Your everyday general store hammer will do. One last thing. It's wise to carry garlic with you. Vampires are somewhat weakened if they can smell garlic. Morgan always liked garlic. You should try his house. But remember... A vampire is still a dangerous foe. Wow, that was like a great line. Like I'm captivated. This was this was amazing. I, I like I really feel like I'm I'm there. Like I'm in RuneScape. Thank you very much. And now we get a good Hanani line to top it all off. This is this is oh, oh. I'm overreacting. <laughs> At this point, I had basically progressed as far in Vampire Slayer as I could without doing the actual fight, so I decided to do one more quest that I thought would have some great dialogue. Corsair Curse. Ahoy, young adventurer. Might you be able to help me, perhaps? I'd be in a spot of bother. Oh, that's great. That sounds so much like a pirate. I mean, this is... I, I, I'm immersed. Who are you? That's an Annie. Uh, well, you can boast of your ignorance if you like, but it don't make you sound smarter. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that at the beginning? It was like, it was like a demon had possessed him for a little bit. <laughs> he didn't say R, it was like... <laughs> It'd be about my crew. They'd be a lazy bunch of times, but they'd be stout in the heart and strong in the arm, and they'd... <sighs> they don't deserve what's happened to them. Did he just, like, have an orgasm mid sentence what the hell was that why was he he was just kind of calmly explaining what was going on and then he just lost his absolute mind what was that it'd be a curse a curse has been laid upon my crew that's the <laughs> only thing it can be sure i'll try to help with your curse ah thanks young adventurer and a worthy adventurer you must surely be brave in the heart and stiff in the spine why can't he say r correctly Ah, uh, you found my ship good adventurer i used to command a much larger vessel sailing the seas with my crew of corsairs but now we'd be settled in corsair cove why am i going false like why am i speaking so hyper i guess i'm doing that right now do i just do that in videos my corsairs be a good crew but this curse has laid them low all except me sickly they be too weak to stand you'll see for yourself soon enough oh oh god he went full voldemort on that last line oh there be four of them afflicted by the curse not chat it's away arson and young colin <laughs> <laughs> All taken to their beds. Hamulin end up picking like so many babies. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good, dude. All right, I kind of forget how to do this quest, but that's good because I'll be talking to more people, uh, hopefully. So this this is all good stuff. My stomach. Oh, <laughs> jump scare. He's always been cursed too. You can probably find him in his hut southwest from here. <laughs> What happened? Oh god, I really hate that this is based off of my voice. It's making me very self-conscious about how I sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, what? No notes, it's perfect. No notes. Yes, I hear you've been cursed. I think so. 
That navigator, Ethoi, always warned us that this kind of thing could happen, but I didn't think it could possibly be real. But now this has happened, and I think it's my fault. Whoa, dude, that was moving. <laughs> this quest clearly centered all around Ethoi, so it was time to finally go and hear what he had to say to me. Yes, we've been cursed! Oh, do you hear the desperation in the voice? This is beautiful! I've seen dancing fish women, monkey kings, huge men in turbans from the far west selling treasure maps, you name it, and I've seen it. There'd be more things in the world than you dreams of in your fancy book learning. And most of them be hostile. Could be any number of things brought this curse upon us, demons, evil spirits, on anything. This is great. Like, honestly, this quest was meant to be voice acted. Okay, it doesn't sound like you know what's behind the curse. Thanks. Uh, I don't know why with Nanny's lines, it keeps just adding in little improvs. <laughs> Oh god. The last thing I could do before the fight that I obviously wouldn't be able to complete was go and find out why all the crewmates thought that they were responsible for the curse. Let's hear it from them, in their own voice. <laughs> What's this? This isn't a lobster. Looks more like a child's toy, but no, it can't be. Is it moving? She's moving! She's possessed! <laughs> Hell! I buried her in the sand by that tree to the west, but I still feel her eyes staring into my soul. Please find her and kill the demon inside. What kind of accent am I doing now? And why am I randomly switching to it? It doesn't make sense. Captain Talk had me exploring some caves west of the cove. I'm a thief. See, like my brother Francois and the captain thought I could sneak past the monsters without being noticed. Well, I climbed down the vines and found a big cave filled with terrifying ogres. But just a couple of days later, we all fell ill. Well, and I think what I stole it must have been some kind of sacred relic and the shamans in the cave have they cursed us for stealing it. Maybe you could get the relic back from the captain and return it to the ogres and tell them I'm very sorry. Uh, uh, then perhaps the hours they'll lift the curse. Okay. Can my voice acting handle speaking like an ogre? Oh, what you want, skinny creature? No, it, it can't. It doesn't seem like it can. Uh, Arson says he's very sorry for stealing from you. Here it is. Yeah, that little man is big idiot. He climbed down vine, grabbed a toothpick off Tess, and ran away like scared Cabot. <laughs> You're saying this is a toothpick? Uh, not a sacred relic of the ogres. Did your shamans curse the Corsairs for stealing it. This is toothpick. Tess got plenty more. If skinny idiot man want Tess's old toothpick, maybe he's sick in his head. But Tess not having shamans curse anyone. Well, I think this is uh, pretty much as far as I can get before the fight, which doesn't have any additional lines anyway. So I, I think it's time to really review how this voice acting impacts RuneScape and how much money Jagex should give me to release this. Wow. It's really been a wild journey, hasn't it, guys? Please just let me die already. I'm Hanani Ha Ha. Couldn't agree more. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, and if you want to hear about my Patreon supporters, a idol is going to tell you about them right now. Now, wow, what a wonderful transition. If you made it this far, make sure to say, uh, I idol is the superior idol. Making these videos would not be possible without my Patreon supporters. Patreon supporters get exclusive content like ad-free videos, plug-in deep dives, and more. Link in the description if you'd like to join. I want to thank the members of my uh, um, tier Kunabazi Huli Suede, Oxford Joshi. Look out for my new series, an IRL chunk lock defined by US state borders, where I lock myself in Iowa until I complete everything. Paradox, a very special thanks to my executive milk producers, Azalin, Loonmaster, Charlie Taylor, April, Awu, Tista, Hermes, Adam, 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 Adam Samurai, Sosu, you. My RL, Jeparite K4 Silver Omega Onion, Josh, Live Fast, Sale Slow, Jamie Wright, and Leet. And finally, thank you to my milk producers. Their names are on screen right now. They're all amazing people, except for Bastin101. Sorry, Bastin, you're a criminal. Okay, I love you. Bye.